Hello there, guys. We are looking at a pretty fun uh, puzzle here. White to move. Our pawn is going up. And the black pawn is, of course, then going down. So, uh, black has a queen here. We don't. But still, we can win this. The question is, how? Can you see it? Pause your video. Look for it yourself, and when you return, I will show you how white can win this. Go ahead. All right, welcome back. So, what we need to do here is actually to try to catch this queen somehow. And to do that, we need to start with checking the king with our rook. We need to get the king closer so we can uh, get the queen taken by some fork from our uh, knight. So check here. Well, black only has two possible moves. And of course, you see, if it goes here, then it's a fork right away. So that's not doing any good. So black needs to go to e5 with the king. The, the big question is, what do we do now? How can we catch this queen and win this? Uh, take a look, and if you need to post the video again, go ahead. All right, here we go. And this is the brilliant move in this study, I think. Look at this. The right move here is just playing our king to g5. This move is so amazing and beautiful. It really blocks the king out. He cannot move anywhere right now because he only has these two moves. And, of course, that will follow a fork here with our knight. At the same time, we are threatening the king, the, the rook to e1 check, uh, which will lead to a fork again. He has to go here. Or we are threatening to play the rook to f5 check also, forcing the king up with a, a fork there. Or continue with a rook with a check. So, so many different uh, threats here, meaning he cannot play simply the pawn either. We will, of course, check here. King d d5, only legal move, and the fork. So, after king g5, black has to move the queen. But the problem is, where can he go? Look at this. Uh, of course, going up here, doesn't help. We will uh, have the same uh, fork here also, like this. Okay. This square is already taken by the knight. If it goes to a5, well, then we have the check here. The king has to move. We have a discovered check on d4. And the queen will fall. Okay, we look at this square by square. What about this? Well, we have a check again. King has to go to d5, and there's the fork. Lose the queen. That's not possible either. Okay, what about? Well, here is taken already, so it goes to a2. Of course, same thing. The fork is there. And of course, he cannot go to a1. It's already taken. So he has to move on the sixth rank. What happens then? Queen b6. Well, we have a check as we saw before. King e6. And we continue with the check here. And the queen will fall. And step by step, see where I'm coming with this. Queen c6. We have the check again. King has to go to e6. Now it's better to, uh, of course, take the fork uh, with the knight. And we will lose the knight, but still winning, obviously. Okay. This is already taken. If it goes to e6, well, we just check here. King d5. We will not take here, even if that's winning. We will. Make it easier with the uh, fork here, and we don't lose even a piece while we take his queen. 
and these three squares are already protected by our king. So black is in a Sugzwang here in the middle of the board. The queen cannot move. Nothing can move. He will lose the queen next move. And white is winning with this beautiful subtle uh, king move, king g5, and block everything out for black. Beautiful, beautiful study, I think. Hope you enjoyed this. Please press like on the video, send it to your friends, and come back for more. Bye-bye.